we are here at the Still Life Academy website, and we're in the Cinema 4D CGI Whiskey Masterclass chat group. And we're looking down, and Wembo has posted a question. He's getting on really well with the course, and he's got to a point where he's starting to use Interactive Renderer to test out some of the materials that have been applied to his model. But things aren't quite working as expected. He's provided a screenshot here, which gives us some detail as to where he's at and what's happening. And it looks like we've got the outer glass with glass material. The liquid inside has got a liquid material as well, but things aren't behaving as expected. So let's see if we can try and answer Wimbo's question. So first of all, if we go to Cinema, a brief run round of what the Cinema 4D traffic light system is, how it can help you and how it can hinder you in this case. Right, so we'll start off with a cube and you can see on the object manager with each object you get two grey dots appear. So if we think about the top one is telling Cinema 4D how to look at this object in the viewport. And the bottom one is telling Cinema 4D how to look at this object in the renderer. Now, if you click on one of these dots, you will have three options. The gray, which is the default, then it goes to green, and then it goes to red. So if we think about red as hiding an object, you can see already it's hidden from the viewport because the top one relates to the viewport. But if we were to do a quick render in native, it still appears because you're telling it it's okay to show in the renderer. If we go the other way around, so we're now showing it in the viewport, but telling it, please don't render. When it comes to render time, that is what it's now going to do. So if you wanted to get this to red on both of them, rather than double clicking the top one, double clicking the bottom one, you can just hold down the Alt or Option key and click, and you only have to click one of them, and both are done at the same time. So that's covered the grey and the red, but what about the green? What is the green doing? The green is basically forcing Cinema 4D to either show something or render it. And why would you want to do that? Well, if we put this cube into a null, it is now a child of the parent of the null. The null itself has two buttons as well, which work in exactly the same way with the green and the red. So if we were to hide from the viewport, it still renders come render time because that one's grey. If we were to hide the null completely, but use green for the viewport, what that's saying is, please override what my parent's telling me. I'm sure a lot of us can relate to that. Um, and the same thing again, when you come to render time, it's like, please ignore my parent and please render me. You say, well, why don't you just take it out of the null and control it that way? Well, if you had a dozen objects in here, but you only wanted to show the cube, do you really want to be doing traffic lights all the way down all 12? Probably not. You can just traffic light the null and then control that cube individually with your traffic lights through there, forcing it to show in the viewport or forcing it as well to render in the render time. Okay. So that's covered pretty much why you would want to use gray, green, or red. So let's pop into the lovely file that Wembo has provided for us. So here we are. We've already seen the screenshot of it. So we have this outer glass model that he's done very well with. We have a lovely glass material on there and we have a liquid inside and a liquid line. So it all looks good. Let's go to Corona, Interactive Rendering. It's coming out grey. What is happening there? Well, let's just have a quick look at the materials. Liquid's got reflection, refraction, and slight noise bump. And the bottle glass has got its own bump map, refraction, and reflection. So there's no clay 
in there at all. What else could be happening? These are the only ones that are visible through the traffic lights and the cap lathe. So something is amiss within one of these folders. So let's just start having a look down. And we come to the outer and inner glass, which was one of the earlier modeling processes. And accidentally, a green traffic light has come on, which means please ignore what parent's doing and please render me at render time, which is why we couldn't see it before. Okay, so this sometimes happens when you're rushing and you're alt double clicking things and you may accidentally leave it on green and then collapse the folder or the subdivision surface. And because you're thinking it's double red, it's going to be fine, but accidentally you haven't done double click or left it at grey. So as soon as that green comes off, it's now saying, please ignore this object. And the reason it came out grey was because there was no material on it and Corona automatic defaults like a clay material. So now we have our outer glass material visible, our liquids visible, and everything is behaving as it should do for this test period for looking at the liquids and the glass bottle. Okay, that pretty much covers Cinema's traffic light system and what could possibly go wrong. Thank you.